Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a Scentsy haul. I did pick up an order for the fall time. I've got a ton of bars in here and I'm gonna give you like my first sniff impressions. I'm also gonna put the notes down at the bottom. So I hope you guys enjoy this fall Scentsy haul. So on top, I've actually got the Halloween scents that I bought. So let's do Halloween first and then we'll get into fall. So I did do a bundle of three licensed bars. So I have a couple Harry Potter ones and then I have a Disney one. I did, I'm so sad, I missed out on the um, the Disney Mickey Pumpkin one. I don't remember the, the name of it, but I did get the Haunted Mansion scent, which is new this year. And it is called Three Thumbs Up, I think. And the wax here honestly looks like those glow in the dark um, like white bones <laughs> that you can get at like the Halloween store. But this one smells so strong and really sweet. It's like a sweet cinnamony scent. I'm not exactly sure the notes, but I will put them down below. But this one smells kind of like bakery, sweet and cinnamony, definitely spicy. This one will be perfect for October. I'm really excited to melt this one. And I picked up two from the Harry Potter line. I picked up the Wizarding World of Harry Potter bar. And then I also picked up the Hufflepuff bar because I am a Hufflepuff. She is just and loyal. <laughs> I could have picked up a Ravenclaw one for Ryan, but I think it was more like a airy kind of note and I wasn't really going for an airy note for the fall. So I just didn't pick that one up. But anyways, so we've got the Wizarding World one here. It's like this deep, deep, deep maroon scent. And it is definitely more of like a unisex fresh scent than anything else. It's got a slight like berry tinge to it. This smells so good. I'm imagining this would be really great in the bedroom. I like to put non-gourmand scents in here. So if it's either fresh or outdoorsy or um, like a linen scent, I will put it in here. So this one is fresh. So I think I'm definitely gonna put it in the bedroom but it smells really wonderful. And now that I'm smelling it a little bit more, it does kind of smell like universal. I wouldn't say that when I went to the Wizarding World that it smelled like a certain scent, but I think the ride that's inside Hogwarts, it did kind of smell like this. Now that I'm thinking about it, which I think it's more of like the outdoorsy, almost like there's a tree scent to it too but that smells really good. So excited for Wizarding World. We're probably gonna have a Harry Potter movie marathon sometime in October, so that'll be perfect. Okay, next for the Hufflepuff scent, and this one is a golden wax melt. Now I remember this one is like a bakery gourmand scent. Of course it is because I feel like if you're a Hufflepuff, you might have a slight obsession with baking or at least with sweets if you have it, if you don't make them you eat them, <laughs> which I definitely have a sweet tooth. And I do like baking. I'm pretty good at baking actually, but it's a very gourmand, kind of a pastry scent. I can't really nail down exactly what it is, but it smells warm and smells yummy. So I'm excited about this one. And then the other three are my, well, actually the other two, this one is not Halloween. The other two are my Halloween scents. So I did pick up Scary Good and Gimme Candy. Now Scary Good is this beautiful orange wax. I love the packaging. It's got these little jack-o'-lanterns just like screaming on it. It's so cute. They're adorable. So this one I know is like just your, your average c cinnamony, pumpkin-y kind of scent for October, which is perfect. I love to have something like that right around Halloween and going into November. Oh gosh, this is like the perfect pumpkin with cinnamon in it. That is wonderful. So that is scary good. It's exactly what you would expect Halloween to smell like in a nutshell. And then we have Gimme Candy, which I did try this one last year for the first time. It's got beautiful candy corns on the packaging here. Super cute and it's a vibrant bright orange. Now this one is definitely more like a trick or treating kind of scent. It smells like the candy that you would get while trick-or-treating, which is so cute. But to me, it's kind of like sweet tarts mixed with Lifesavers, Lifesaver gummies, I should say. That's what it smells like to me. It's like the sweet sugary candy, not necessarily like the chocolatey candy, 
This one smells really good. And I feel like it's not just an October kind of scent. I could definitely use this into November as well for like Thanksgiving sweets. So that's Gimme Candy. For fall scents, I did pick up three in a apple scent. So I was really feeling the apple vibes in September. So that's when I purchased these and I was just feeling all the apple feels. So I did pick up three ones that are apple-y. I've got baked apple pie. I've got apple cherry strudel and I've got Dutch apple bread. Let's smell this one first because I think Dutch apple bread is brand new. And look at this cute little packaging. It's got little loaves of bread on here and apples. It's super adorable. Oh my God. Okay. Hmm. I don't know why I was expecting this to have maple in it and I'm really glad that it doesn't. I feel like in all of like the apple pastry scents, there's usually like a maple note, but this one doesn't have that. It is like a fresh apple, almost like an apple compote on top of a muffin or a cake. This one smells so good and it's just like a, a light brown kind of wax or a cream wax basically, but this one smells really good. It's nice and fresh with that apple scent, but also gourmand, which I love. So that's Dutch apple bread. Then we have apple cherry strudel, which I thought would be perfect for this time of year. And even going into November because this kind of like cherry scent is perfect for November time, thinking about like cherry pies and stuff. So here is the packaging. It's this beautiful dark red wax. It really does smell like the inside of a cherry pie. I'm not getting a ton of apple here, mostly just cherry, but like cherry filling, cherry pie filling is what it smells like to me. I don't get a ton of gourmand, but it is basically filling. That smells really good. Oh my gosh, okay. That's apple cherry strudel. I feel like that one's gonna be really strong. And then lastly, I have baked apple pie. I believe that I had this one last year. So I don't think that it's new. It is this cream wax. Oh wow, yeah, that is definitely cinnamon heavy with the apple note. Ooh, it is very strong cinnamon. I'm gonna have to wait till it's actually cold here because I can't do cinnamon when it's warm outside. It's still 95 here in Texas, you guys but this one's gonna be really good when it's cold outside. But I'm not getting a ton of apple. It's really just like a cinnamony baked crust note. So I'm gonna have to try this one. I feel like this would go really well with graham cracker crunch, which I have in my club. So I have a few bars back stocked of that. I feel like graham cracker crunch, like with the graham cracker crust plus cinnamon would be really nice together. So that's baked apple pie, not getting a ton of apple, mostly just crust. Moving on to the straight up fall scents, I've got pumpkin roll here, which is a lot of people's favorite. So I did pick up two. I've never tried it before, but I trusted everyone's reviews saying that this was amazing. So let's give it a shot, pumpkin roll. Mm, this is caramel. This is pumpkin caramel for sure. Wow. This smells like a caramel cheesecake cookie. I don't know why it's reminding me of that, but I think maybe I had like a um, crumble cookie that was a cheesecake cookie with caramel on top. That's what it smells like. Cause I'm getting like buttercream frosting in pumpkin roll. Oh my God, I'm getting buttercream frosting, pumpkin filling, caramel on top. This is like, it's like those sugar cookies that have like the real thick icing on them that you get from the grocery store. It's those cookies with their sweet buttercream icing, maybe like pumpkin um, pumpkin spice drizzled on top or pumpkin spice powder on top with a caramel drizzle. That's so yummy. Okay, that's really great. It's not very pumpkin-y. It is really gourmand. That's gonna be so good. So I'm glad I got two. I feel like this is not just a fall scent either. It could be really good for even like early spring and like late winter in like February and March, this is still gonna be really good. So I'm happy that I got two, I might even get more, but that smells so good. Um, one that I did actually, I think I had this last year because they had a snickerdoodle scent around um, winter time that I think it's the same one. This is Make Me Snickerdoodle. This is cute, what a cute name. And I did get two because I think I'm gonna give one to my mom. She really enjoys like a cookie snickerdoodle kind of scent. Oh my gosh, this smells like brown butter cookies. Do you know what I'm talking about? Wow, the bottom of this is super cinnamony. It's brown butter cookies rolled in cinnamon sugar baking in the oven. 
that is so good. My mom's gonna love this one. Okay, I'm really glad that I got two so I can share this with her because that smells so delicious. And I'm probably gonna pick up another one. Um, I'll probably do an order for Christmas since in late November, I'll probably pick up some more of these for me and her to share because this is so good. We are down to our last three. I've got a vanilla bean buttercream in here. I just picked up this one. I have a lot of these in back stock. I picked up one for my mom. It's just the most simple vanilla bean scent. It really smells like you're baking sugar cookies in the oven when this is going. And it, it really performs well in my mom's open concept house. So I'm gonna give this one to her. And then the last two I have is pumpkin cinnamon swirl and cashmere leaves. So pumpkin cinnamon swirl, I'm curious to see how this compares to pumpkin roll. It's definitely more cinnamony than the other one and it does not have any caramel in here that I can smell. Actually, this one has a little bit of maple, a sticky toffee kind of sweet with the, like it almost has a pumpkin filling and cinnamon on top. It's very cinnamon heavy. Whew, this one's like a blow you out of the house cinnamon, but this is perfect for October. But yeah, that's pumpkin cinnamon swirl. Super cute little packaging and orange wax on that one. And then my last bar is cashmere leaves. I wanted to go for a fresh scent versus, as you can tell, all the ones that I got are gourmand. So I got one fresh scent um, besides the Harry Potter scent. This one smells really good. I feel like this could be a holiday scent too for Christmas time. Oh my gosh. The bottom smells even better than the top. The bottom smells a lot like um, very apple-y, super apple spicy. That's wonderful. Very fresh, very outdoorsy. I love this. This one's so good. Okay, cashmere leaves. And that is my entire fall Scentsy Wax haul. So like I said, I'll probably do another order um, in late November or early December for Christmas scents. I think I have a few scents left over though. Um, so let me know if you wanna see a Scentsy Wax collection, cause I can definitely show you guys that. I have some leftover Christmas scents from last year and I am going to do a um, candle collection video coming up soon. So that way we can see all my candles for fall and just where my collection is at. But yeah, that's everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed that Scentsy haul. Let me know down below, what are you melting right now? I'm really curious to hear what you guys are liking. And yeah, I will see you all in my next video. Bye.